kila wakati Mungu ni mwema leo tunaazimisha siku ya mwanzilishi wa shirika la mapadri na mabrada wa roho mtakatifu wale ambao pia ndio wanzilishi wa imani katoliki ndani ya Tanzania tumpe Mungu sifa na utukufu na kwa namna hiyo basi naomba niwatakie ndugu zangu wa spiritual wote happy feast Coming a priest. However, 
since some worldly activities dis distance him from God, he set aside some religious devotions with an intention of reclaiming his relationship with God, whom he had abandoned. He further intensified his religious practices with various forms of retreats. These spiritual exercises and the spiritual guidance provided by Father Descartes, his spiritual director, helped the young Lord recapture his desire of becoming a priest. The recapture of his original intention led to the abandonment of his parents' plan over their child. He therefore started pursuing his theology studies at the College of Louis, Louis the Great, a prominent Jesuit institute in Paris. While at Louis the Great, Claude noted that there were some needy students who survived by cleaning the chimneys. Moved by Pete, Claude started helping his fellow students by using his own personal resources that were meant for sustaining. In several occasions, he was seen collecting the food remaining at the college so as to give them. Not only did Claude feed his members with food, he also gave them spiritual inputs so as to ensure their spiritual growth. Upon seeing the number of his followers growing, probably attracted, attracted by his generosity and his way of life, Claude formed a community and rented a house in the Rue de Codi. He therefore selected a dozen of them on Pentecost Sunday, May 27, 1703 to form the seminary consecrated to the Holy Ghost under the invocation of the Blessed Virgin conceived without sin. So he started our congregation on May 27, 1703 uh, on the Feast of Pentecost, Pentecost. Father Claude was given the Sacrament of All Orders on 17th December 1707 Unfortunately, less than two years of his ordination, God called him to his heavenly reward at the end of September 1709. Pl pleuris and abdominal disease attacked attack his emancipated body. He suffered a terrible pain, but in the midst of all his suffering, he repented over and over again, saying, how loving are they are, I, uh, thy tabernacles, O Lord of God, my soul longs and faint for the courts of the Lord. Referring to Psalm 83, verse 1. Four days of illness sufficed to snuff out the spark of life in his infant body on 2nd October 1709 at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. His soul quickly went forth to the lovely dwelling of the Lord. My fellow brothers, having heard the brief life history of our beloved first founder, what we do learn from his life, as for me, I would say that Father Claude Francis Pulade Plus teaches us the simplicity of life, the spirit of our availability, and the love for the poor. In short, these are the main three pillars where our congregation stands on. You and I are called to leave these pillars in our various forms of ministries. Leaving these pillars is the greatest gratitude we can give our first beloved founder, let alone to Christ whom our founder followed intimately. To receive for your supremacy.